Welcome to this brief study of the hymn of the day for Trinity Sunday in 2021 here at Our Savior Lutheran Church in Heartland, Michigan. I'm Pastor Rod Zwanitzer with my sidekick here on hymn of the day, uh, Cantor Jonathan Sweat. Jonathan, we have uh, the uh, Trinity hymn of the day. Uh, Lutheran service book hymn 498, Come Holy Ghost, Creator Blessed. What do we know about this rich uh, Trinitarian hymn? Well, this one uh, goes back even further than uh, the previous hymn we discussed for Pentecost. Uh, this one actually traces back to the 9th century instead of the 13th century. And it's attributed to Rabanus Maris. 776 to 856. He was a monk, a scholar, abbot, and archbishop of Mainz in Germany. And our translation uh, is by Edward Caswell uh, and others. Uh, this was not an exclusive uh, Caswell translation, but he, he did the majority of it. And uh, this is a Hymn that's prescribed or recommended to be used at ordination rites in Roman Catholic, Episcopal, and Lutheran churches. Um, it can also be used for the dedication of churches and, of course, several other appropriate uh, festivals. And it's very widely translated in English. There's 33 different English translations that have been identified, and that was all prior to the year 1892. Wow. How many? 13? 33. 33? Different English translations before Amazing. 1892. And then uh, I wonder when Edward uh, Caswell did his. Yeah. Well, he, he lived from 1814 to 78. So. But his Some, is somewhere in the middle of that 19th century. Is his kind of a standard one now, or it just was to our liking when we we start using it. Um, I, I have to check other hymnals. Okay. You know, to see which 33 ones. different English translations. Wow. How so about that? be pretty good. Yeah. yeah. How about the, the tune on this one? Anything that we have on that one? Yeah. It's a, again, it's a simplified version of a more chant-like tune. And that ninth century chant-like tune uh, is found in our hymn. It's actually 499. So right next door, we have uh, the same text, but we have it placed with that chant melody. Okay. And it's much more difficult to say. It sure is. And so so for, for the congregational purpose, we use 498. Um, however, I have at times used them in alternation, like having the congregation sing 498's melody for stanza one, but then if I have the adult choir, uh, have them sing stanza two to the ancient chant melody. Okay. Could you play a little bit of 499 for, for us so they could hear hear the uh, the, the, the chanting type uh, tune to this? Sure. We can start with that one, and then maybe we'll, we'll do the uh, simplified version after that. Okay. It's kind of a little tough having to look at the words and look at those notes moving, movement. Uh, and, you, and you have to figure out where uh, there is more than one note to a syllable. Right. Or you'll get all out all of messed up. Yeah. And as you were uh, say, stating, that's kind of it, isn't it? That you've got to kind of know where the, the notes want to take you rather than just make up your own. How the notes and the words line up. Line up. It's quite different. So 498 is very uh, uh, simplified compared to 499. It's more comfortable for the yeah. average 
you know, even for myself, it's a lot easier. You probably have to practice it a few times. Well, yeah. let's uh, do uh, verse 1 of 498, if you may. Okay. Um. things uh, right out of the beginning of this hymn uh, that the, the Holy Spirit is doing in us uh, sin control creatures. He's not only coming with, uh, with grace, but with mercy too. Because as you mentioned, He's coming to the sinful creatures, so he can't do that without mercy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I, that second little part, and make our hearts your place of rest. So for the spirit to rest and give us faith and grace and mercy, he has to create that, doesn't he? So it, it, it's a fascinating kind of uh, flow of words there just in the first couple of of uh, phrases. And then it mentions uh, hearts again at the end. Fill the hearts which we have made. There again, uh, almost almost remade uh, this uh, birth uh, from above mm -hmm. uh, that the Holy Spirit does so wonderfully and graciously. Uh, so very good. Well, let's uh, let's jump down. We wanted, uh, we, we both agree kind of Verse three is a, is a great verse. There's seven here, uh, a perfect number of seven uh, stanzas, and we're just going to do a couple. So let's uh, sing verse three, and then we can chat about it. Trinity, I think, here in this uh, third verse. Because um, definitely you there is referring to the Holy Spirit. Mm. And we could say God's almighty hand, that uh, probably speaking of the Father and then uh, the holy name, uh, we could say Jesus, but we could also say the, the Trinity holy. Uh, anything else that you want to point out about uh, verse 3? Well, the sevenfold, the grace is sevenfold, is something that uh, people may not be familiar with. That comes from, um, let me see if I wrote this down. I, is it? Uh, anyway, it mentions uh, the seven gifts are, are in the Bible, and it, um, those are uh, wisdom understanding, counsel, might, knowledge, the fear of the Lord, and piety. Mm. I wish I would have written that scripture reference down. But. Yeah, and, and you know, seven in, in the Bible is a, is a, uh, a number of, uh, showing perfection, uh, completion, uh, fullness. Uh, so, you know, we, we say that God's number is seven and humans number is six the opposite. So, um, yeah, the, the sevenfold blessings, uh, their graces, uh, 
Um, and then I think seven shows up again in, in this hymn, does it not, or am I mistaken? Is there another seven in here? I do not remember. Uh, maybe it was, we, we're, this is our third hymn we're recording, so it's probably one of the other ones. <laughs> Uh, well, seven so, stanzas. Seven stanzas, that's it. That's where I was. That's right. Seven. Yeah, it's perfection. So, uh, very good. Um, so, with uh, while you with tongues of fire proclaim, uh, so this image of fire it, on, on, in the church is always Pentecost for the Holy Spirit. Uh, this, this, you know, bright burning uh, shining, uh, creating uh, person of the triune God. Uh, and so it, it, it's really good uh, symbolism in here. Well, let's jump ahead and sing stanza six, and then we can chat about it. It's a strong Trinitarian verse. And so let's do uh, verse six of Come Holy Ghost, Creator Blessed. <laughs> Uh, remembering back, I preached a sermon recently on, uh, I think it was John 16, where our Lord says that uh, he's going away and none of you ask me where am I going, mm -hmm. uh, but it is to your advantage because that I go away uh, after the resurrection because I'm going to be sending the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and he will speak to you uh, all that he hears me and the Father speak. So it says we're all we're all three one and what the same things that we say and and bless with these sevenfold blessings we're all united and this is one, uh, which should give us some encouragement and some comfort that uh, we should not be divided in what we say about the Lord's words we should be united in them because the Trinity certainly certainly is that we may bless their name uh, always and in our lives confess the same truths that they do. So a very powerful Trinitarian uh, verse that we have in this, in this hymn. Well, we've kind of gotten through the three stanzas that we wanted to sing. Any, any other uh, things that you'd like to point out to us today, Kathy? Uh, just the <clears throat> stanza seven, um, obviously is a Trinitarian Reference and, and just perfect for um, for the day of Holy Trinity. I love I love the way these hymns to use the word gift and gifts because God is a great giver and He cannot be outdone uh, in His giving and uh, we thrive on that uh, and and we know that they come from the Triune God, uh, the Holy Spirit. Uh, you know we always we always pray. Uh, Bible study and, and times of worship that the Spirit would be with us and bless us, uh, pointing to the Father, the Son, and, and Himself, uh, that those gifts that flow out of Him and, and enlighten us would, uh, would bless us and comfort us. Any last uh, words that you'd like to provide? Okay, thank you uh, for listening in to our uh, unloading of the hymn of the day for Trinity in 2021. And uh, we pray your blessings upon your Trinity celebration this year, that the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit would comfort you and bless you and uh, fire you up uh, in this time of need to 
have his comfort and his uh, blessing so we can proclaim that holy name and uh, live in that uh, Trinitarian uh, unity that is given to us so graciously and mercifully in the gospel of Jesus Christ. God go with you then and bless you until we can meet again.